Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking with a probably pretty short video. Anyway, we have got two Italians, okay? We got the famed Spaz 12. I have talked about this as if it's an industry kept secret, but most people like the Spaz 12, but once I shot one, I fell in love with it. And so any excuse to bring it back on the channel, I love it. So I won't go into all the theatrics about that. You guys have seen the video, maybe not. We're gonna be comparing that with, I thought it would be interesting to compare it with a Benelli M4, a 10-14. A Benelli M4. People say that this is the only shotgun to be developed from the ground up to be a combat shotgun. And it must be the only one in that it was actually adopted because the Spaz 12 as well, the acronym being a uh, special purpose automatic shotgun. And that special purpose at the time was military and police. But from my understanding, it wasn't totally adopted. Uh, and then later they tried to change the acronym to sporting purpose to get around the uh, assault weapons ban and everything else But cool history with this one uh, production was from the 70s all the way to 2004 I believe they should both be a good time I got some good experience with the spaz 12 as of right now no experience with my own m4 But other people's so we're gonna make sure this thing runs nicely. I got this from lead and steel uh, and uh, but yeah, I haven't shot mine just yet. So I'm gonna try a couple different things uh, We're gonna try double out buck today as well as bird shot because bird shot may not have enough potency to cycle the spaz 12 But we'll find out uh, but double out buck will whereas this is semi-automatic only no pump action mode um, Should cycle all of it from what I understand, but we won't know until we try it We got three there did not feed All right, they may not have enough juice to cycle if you lean into it enough, it'll get there. Yeah, that's some federal bird shot. So I attribute that uh, lack of feeding to just the lack of power. Not so much the gun itself, but it feels pretty darn good. Let's just jump straight to the Spaz 12 with the same federal because I haven't shot that combination yet, just to see if it'll cycle. Let's see if it cycles. Mm, I don't have my hopes up. Yeah, that's just a lack of power on these. Let's do a couple more here. Yeah, okay. So in that situation, pretty light loads. What I'll go ahead and do is put safety on manual and then get out of the situation by doing this. Yeah, all righty. All right, like I said, still rocking the Federal. Uh, bird shot, I'm just gonna lean into it, see if it keeps feeding. Ah, I should have chambered it. Yeah, I rocked and rolled. I mean, I should have probably just leaned into it, give it something to bounce off of, but uh, not too bad. Let's see how fast I could shoot the bird shot out of the Spaz 12 on pump action mode. Get out of there. There it goes. Alrighty. The Spaz 12 is most happy when it's run with double out buck, anything semi auto. So let's just go ahead and do that. All right, let's do it. Oh gosh, safety. No, I was gonna look cool. Spaz 12s are way happier that way. All right, I've got three in the hand here. Let's just see how fast I could dump three rounds. Semi auto, double out buck. First time shooting double out buck out of the Benelli M4. That wasn't a voice crack. There's all kinds of buttons. There we go. That does it. Got it. Figuring it out. I'm getting there. Three rounds fast as I can. Let's see what happens. Oh, I missed, but hey, they got out there. Feels great. So that's probably it for me. I'll tell you what, I got my uncles visiting from Mexico and they want to blast around since they're in Texas. So if that sounds like a plan, we'll get them on camera, see what they think about it. Ready to uh, make some pumpkin pie. Let's do it. You got two more. Oh, two more. More pumpkin pie. Do, do two very fast. Oh, I wasn't happy. Oh, you're you're too fast for it. Yep. I'm Speedy Gonzalez. Whoa, super cool. Then do it one more time. Uh, chamber it. Okay, now what we're going to do, press this button and pull forward on this. There it goes. Awesome. <laughs> for my... Spanish-speaking viewers, you'll like this. Let's see which one they prefer. Qu uh, well. Bueno, las dos son italianas. Eh, parecen ser muy similares, pero esta tiene más historia y es más clásica. Mm. 
All right, let's get tactical. Can I do, oh, I should probably close my bolt, huh? Can I do the dual load at least, Terran tactical style here? All right. Ah, don't judge me. All right, let's finish this off. I'm the kind of guy who comes out to the range, plinkers around in basketball shorts and tennis shoes. All right, so don't judge my reloads, but Benelli M4, first impressions with my very own. And uh, that's the most I've ever shot with one in a single day. And I quite like it. So in the title, of course, it being Benelli M4 versus Spaz 12 or vice versa, uh, this is more recreational. Uh, I kind of sum summarized it earlier. This one does something, well, similar job, but just way better. No pump action, some auto shotgun, more streamlined, way more efficient, probably more durable. This right here is like a resto mod, not even a resto mod, it's just all classic, just a old, uh, iconic, recognizable gun. So for recreationally blasting around, right here. If I had to trust one, I'd go right here. Let me know in the comment section which one you guys like. That's it for this video comparing these two guns, but a little extracurricular. Got some other fun guns I want my uncles to shoot, so let's see what they think about those. Cool. It's an awesome gun. Rapid fire it. All right. Here we go. Here it goes. Super nice. There you go. All right, going on to the Desert Eagle. Only one in there just to get a feel for it. Not bad at all. Cool. Cool. Otra vez con dos? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Cool. It's awesome. Huh? A lot of power. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not bad? What? <laughs> Not bad, it's awesome. You want uh, two more? No, that's it. That's, that's it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Perfect. I'm okay with it. All right, last gun to get their impressions on. 500 Magnum snub nose, little big grains, 350 grainer, I think. Nothing too bad. Not bad. Not bad. I got it. <laughs> he did hit it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was mostly comparing the two Italian shotguns, the Spaz 12 and the Benelli M4. And I'm glad my uncles could come out here and watch me film it, but I figured you could get some fun times on uh, some guns while they were in Texas, but appreciate them doing that. We're going to go ahead and keep shooting Desert Eagle off camera, but that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.